Hey guys, welcome back to the second video. Let's get straight into it. You know who I am. Okay, so I just added an extra field as you can see. So that's that's there. Uh, and I'm gonna keep, uh, you can add whatever you want and it doesn't really, this doesn't change in the code because um, all it does in the code is just load this particular uh, uh, field group, right? So remember how we said I said uh, 132 is the field group ID. That's what you're loading here, uh, and that's it. So that that just works. Now, so you you can you can add whatever you want into the form itself, into the field group itself, and it'll become the form on the front end. Now we need a place for them to all get saved in, and that is the post type, which is AI underscore review. Okay. All right. Let's go set that up now. Uh, recently, uh, ACF has added an extra uh, feature, which is post types. That's surprising. And they never had this in almost everybody that I knew who didn't code it. Uh, you could code it with WP Hasty, which is what I used to do. Uh, but almost everybody that I worked with that, you know, uh, needed me to fix something on their site or work on their site, they, when they needed a custom post type, they would use CPT UI. And with this new feature, I'm assuming that, not assuming that, I, I, I know that you will not have to install CPT UI because this does everything, okay? Okay, so let's add a post type. Okay, now they're gonna be called uh, reviews. So let's add that, reviews, and singular would be a review. I spell it right, okay. Now, post type key is what has to match with this guy, okay? So it says AI review, and that's what we're gonna match. Yeah, AI review. So AI underscore review, okay? As you can see here, that matches the key, okay? You don't need to worry about much else in these settings. You can go to advanced, but you really don't need to. All you need to do is just save this and you are done, okay? Now, you could have set up the CPTs first, but I just really wanted to get into the most important part of wrapping that form inside a short code. Uh, but if you set up the short, if you set up the CPT first, when you go and edit and add stuff to your um, field groups, you actually would change it here, okay? Now, post type is equal to, you will start with post, but because you set up tech, you set up the post types, you can go and change it to review, and now, um, when you go to reviews, I'll show you, oops, I'll show you reviews, if you go to reviews, you'll see that, okay? So now this is ready, and if you actually add new, you'll see that it's ready to take on these things, but we're not gonna add it here in the back end, we're actually gonna add it to the front end. Uh, all right, so this is the short code that we need, front end form, right? So uh, let's have that show on a page, okay? And it should work. Okay, <clears throat> testing front end form. Okay. Okay, so remember how we actually left uh, the title here, post title, all right? After we get this form to, and check to see if it works, I'm gonna add an extra really cool thing uh, that will help depending on the context. But in this case, when we're adding reviews, I think it really helps. So uh, we'll play around with some of these settings in a minute. For now, let's see if that short code works. Okay, so let's uh, add a section. There we go, add a short code, and inside that short code is that thing. Oh, that thing. There we go. Right? Cool. So let's go and check how it displays here. Okay. So let's uh, add a placeholder title. I have a very long 
phone number and let's save that and you will see that has it has been updated okay that means it's been saved and now if we refresh this page you will see that is in there yay see that was pretty simple wasn't it not bad at all right okay so here's a couple of things that you can do to change uh, how this works right now you can actually save change that draft to published <laughs> published right I think that's how that's right yep let's see uh, publish not a D just the ish okay now if we I just save that so if I do it again all right um, you'll take out the updated true start over with a blank fresh form um, new title and new name and of course another long phone number all right and that will give us a submission and if we refresh you'll see that this one is now published okay so if you use a uh, draft that means that uh, your client or whoever is managing the website can actually get reviews in and then look through them and pick the ones that they like and then publish just those or um, if they're okay they can just publish it directly it like for example if it's a business directory you can just publish it directly uh, as long as it's behind a, a safe like a wall like a password or a paywall or something membership okay cool all right so what was I talking about when I said we're gonna get to the title thing in a second what I mean, what I was going to do, what I did was, see, if you give them title and if you tell them, put your name and title, yeah, they'll understand. But remember how if we're using ACF, we can actually have way more control over these fields. So the title, what you can do with that is you can actually just uh, add this. Now, remember, um, this is just the... Yeah, so that's a new title, right? And you can add stuff into the name and have it save as the title. And you can also hide the title while you're at it. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So here we are, right? Now, if you go to this form, you will see that there's this input field, right? And that input, ACF post title, all right, and name field. If you go down there, you'll see ACF. That this input ID has a string of characters here. That's the unique ID here. And we're going to need this ID of this input field. Okay, so, and I'll give you this code as well. Uh, this short code stuff, the code that goes inside that short code that expands into the content starts from uh, OB start all the way to get it cleaning it up all right now that means that inside here you can actually add extra stuff and it'll show underneath the form because from here to here is the form all right so uh, we're going to parse out of PHP and that is like that and we're going to parse back in so the other parts below it will still work okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some JavaScript, okay? Now this is vanilla JavaScript, which means uh, it will work on any page builder, uh, even if jQuery has been disabled. Like it uses DOM content loaded as opposed to document ready. Uh, now you can see here, ACF post title, that is, that coincides with this guy here, right? ACF hyphen underscore post underscore title okay that's what that is and it says get element by id we're going into that input field there okay and the name field all right so we're like i said we're going to hide the title field and we're going to take the name field and put that into the title field okay uh so we're going to take this id all right that id copy that and paste that in here okay like that cool now that will 
that will copy the content that, co that is typed into the name field, this field. And after, it pause, after the typing pauses for a second and a half, that's 1500 uh, milliseconds, a second and a half, it will copy that over into the title. Okay. Uh, now, what, if that starts working, then all you need to do now is just take this whole field. Okay. Nope. This whole field. All right. And it's hard. It's easy to isolate that out. You can see ACF field double hyphen, uh, double dash, double dash post title. Right. It says that. So that's fine. Right. You can take that and give it an absolute position and um, overflow zero, height zero, width zero, and it'll just, you can't see it, right? So you can do that or whatever it is. You can absolute positioning way off uh, in like 999,999 pixels to the left or whatever. Whatever it is, you can hide it and it will still work, all right? So let's refresh this. And we're gonna type, now we're assuming the title has been hidden, right? So we're gonna type in uh, copy this and there you go, right? It's copied over here. So later, whatever you do, you submit that. This title gets its title from the name field, right? So now you get copy this, right? So if people were typing in their name, that's what would happen. And that makes it easy for you or your client to be able to tell them apart, okay? Um, be, I, I had to come up with this solution because, oops, sorry. I had to come up with this solution because the client uh, didn't want that title there. And they, like, if it was a review, they could say, like, like best product ever or whatever. They, but they didn't like that. They wanted that title off. So I had to still want, I still wanted that uh, when they looked in the back end, still wanted them to be able to see the name uh, on the back end. So... I copied the name into the title. Okay, so uh, an easy way to hide this, like I said, position absolute. It goes like that. And let's um, give it like top minus 100 pixels and width zero, uh, height zero, overflow hidden. Oh, that still shows because it has padding, padding zero. There we go. Nothing, right? So that works. You can do it like that. Okay. Uh, all right. So now that we have all of that sorted out and it works, you can see that you can see that it works. All you need to do now is to be able to load it on the front end. Now, if you're using a, much, a more modern builder like uh, Oxygen, Breakdance, or Bricks then loading it inside a post loop module is not hard. There are, I'm sure, documentation, tutorials on all that. I will probably show just Breakdance because I've, I just have that here right now, uh, but it's not hard, right? Now, in the next video, I'll show Breakdance because that's pretty simple, all right? Uh, and then I'll also show how to use a short code to display it because I think I, I already mentioned this before in the first video, uh, the legacy builders, the, the larger, more popular one, yeah, I guess, more popular ones, the ones that are used more often uh, by more people, like Divi and Elementor uh, and possibly Beaver, they have, they can load custom post types into cards, but they can't do that as e efficiently uh, into a certain style, okay? so. We're going to go and add that into an extra short code and load it there. And that means that you can load it anywhere you want on any part of the site, regardless of the builder. Okay. So that'll be a third video. And now that we've got all this done, I'm very happy with that. Hope you're happy with this. And I will prob probably see you in the next video. If I don't, and if you're happy with getting it in a custom post type, then um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you around. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Okay? All right. Bye.